Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we have a cottage food baker safe ganache recipe. So we're taking out the cream and we're using boiling water instead. And if you get a vegan chocolate or chocolate without dairy, this would also be considered like a vegan ganache. But today I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips. So this batch is not considered vegan. And it's gonna be flavored espresso chocolate ganache so I'm also using this instant espresso. So what I have is just 50 grams of boiling water with one and a half teaspoons of the instant espresso. And then I have 100 grams of melted semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I'm just going to stir in the boiling water. now that this is mixed through and nice and smooth we want to let it set for our cake filling but if your cottage food law allows it then you can add half a tablespoon of salted butter and just melt that in that just adds like a really nice shiny finish and as well as it adds some flavor I'm just going to whisk that in to melt it. Okay, once your butter is melted through, just scrape down the sides of the bowl and cover it with plastic, completely covering the chocolate. Pressed on the same way you do like when you make pudding. Once your chocolates come to the proper temperature, you're going to have this type of a consistency. It's a little bit different than ganache made with cream. You can tell it's a little bit looser, um, but it's great for filling cakes, cupcakes, macaroons, anything that you need when you can't use cream. 